Howdy folks, today we'll cover how you redeem your pre-order, special edition and ultimate edition items in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's not a case of starting with them, but don't worry, if you have the specific edition and or pre-ordered, you will get your items. First of all, be sure that you have installed the tiny DLC that enables them. If you downloaded a digital copy, these will just be available to download with the main game, so just be sure to also install them. If you bought a physical copy, any bonus content will likely be as a voucher code in the box, so type that in, download and install them. Now as far as actually getting the items in game, you cannot get the majority until chapter 2, and as such, I will have to mention the name of a town, and I'll also show a few clips of attaining them on screen, so if you are spoiler sensitive, you may not wish to keep watching. All pre-orders of Red Dead Redemption 2 receive two bonus items. These are the War Horse and the Outlaw Survival Kit. The Outlaw Survival Kit is just given to you pretty much straight away, so no need to worry about that. It's a bunch of useful consumables, food, tonics, etc. The War Horse, however, cannot be gained until a little into Chapter 2. You'll go to the town of Valentine once or twice, and back at your main camp, a mission will come up to go hunting. During this mission, the stables will unlock and you'll be able to buy and stable your horse or horses. The War Horse will be available at the stables for free. If you got the pre-order via a digital download, you'll receive a further two items. These are a cash bonus for story mode, and if you ordered early, a treasure map. I believe the treasure map was only available for those who pre-ordered before the 15th of August. The cash bonus is also just given to you at the start of chapter 2, and the treasure map as far as I can tell was a real world paper map. The special edition and ultimate edition will have access to some other things. These are a bank robbery mission and gang hideout mission. These are two side quest missions that are unrelated to the main story and are simply unlocked as you play. They are related to two specific towns. The dappled black thoroughbred horse, which is a beauty. This as with the war horse is unlocked as you unlock the stables during the big hunt mission, not long into chapter two. It will be available to purchase in the stables for free and just remember, these horses have permadeath. Do not let it die, take care of it. If it's dirty, then give it a few brushes. If its health or other are low, feed it. If it's scared, calm it down. You don't want to lose your epic horse and wells. The Eagle Talon Talisman is available to you in Chapter 2, when you make camp. Simply access your wardrobe and go down to Talisman and equip the Eagle Talon Talisman for the extra 5 seconds on Eagle Eye. The Iguana Scale, well, I guess it's a medallion by the Rockstar bonuses listing. It will just be in your satchel and will allow you to take less damage while on horseback, provided it is in your satchel. Gameplay boost cash bonuses and discounts. These refer to permanent boost to your core stats of health, stamina and deadeye. You'll earn more cash from selling animal carcasses and from hunting missions, as well as from robbery missions with the Vandalind gang and upgrading the camp. These boosts and bonuses specifically can be turned off, by default they are on but within the menus can be toggled at any time. The Nuevo Paraiso Gunslinger Outfit. As with the Talisman, these clothing items are available at the start of Chapter 2 when you have access to your wardrobe. They are just already in there. There is also the Volcanic Pistol, Lancaster Varmint Rifle and Pump Action Shotgun. All three of these weapons are available very early on into Chapter 2, from the gun store in Valentine. As with the horses, they are free to purchase. Be aware that these are by no means high level weapons, but are handy at the beginning to give you a bit of a head start. In my opinion, the real winner of these items, not including the missions as I've yet to do them, is the dappled black thoroughbred. It is a very fast and beautiful horse. It is a race style horse, not particularly made for combat, so it can scare easy, but it is very fast. I would advise switching to the war horse or just a horse with high tolerance for danger when going into battles that you have prepared for. When it comes to the ultimate edition only rewards, they are focused purely on the online, which won't be available for 30 days from release. These are similar types of items as a special, except where the special and pre-order items conform to story mode, these are online only. As well as the items covered so far, there is an extra bonus for all digital pre-orders. This is GTA Cash, the amount differing depending on which edition you purchase. 500,000 for standard, 1 million for special edition, and 2 million for ultimate edition. This is on Xbox and PS4. Something of note that I found interesting is that when I purchased a pre-order special edition on the PlayStation Store, it actually said that the pre-order versions were available for a few days after release. 
And checking now as I'm making this video, they are still available with the pre-order only content. So if you're thinking about getting Red Dead Redemption 2 but want to check out the reviews and or watch some gameplay before you decide, you appear to be able to do that and still get the bonuses. But I wouldn't wait too long if it's particularly important to you. Thank you for watching folks, we have a discord that is linked in the description, full of some awesome people. I also often announce things on there as it is a good medium for such things. There is also a Patreon linked in the description and if you want to support the channel but not in a monetary fashion, sharing is a fantastic way to do that. It really does help the videos get out there, more so than ever in this climate of notification hell. And if you are new, think about subscribing. I'll be coming at you with many tips and tricks videos for Red Dead Redemption 2 in the weeks to come and daily live streams of my playthrough with massive coverage of Fallout 76 to follow. Have an awesome day folks.